Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new film, Mission Impossible Fallout. Now, normally I sit here and I talk about a film, but I want to talk about this perfect symphony that I just watched. Now, when I say symphony, I mean then when everything just seems to align and everything just seems to work. So, as I wave my baton, let's start. So, first of all, we've got at the center of this, we've got Tom Cruise playing Ethan Hunt for the sixth time. Now, of course, in the first three Mission Impossibles, they were decent, but then we got into Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation and now Fallout. And it's like they're slowly but surely becoming this, this, this huge series that can rival something like a Bond or a Jason Bourne series. Because now it's like the Mission Impossible series have just really taken off. And one of the things you have to respect about Tom Cruise is that he always wants to outdo himself. Now... I love the fact that in his films, especially his action films, we get the Tom Cruise karate chop running, which is amazing. But beyond that, you're seeing completely over-the-top stunts, and the fact that you realize that he's probably doing like 75% of them just blows the mind. So the next thing that makes uh, a film like this worth seeing is the plot. So in this movie, you've got some plutonium that's fallen into the wrong hands. And him and his uh, team have to track it down before people do unspeakable things with it. Would you say it's a tough mission? No, it's Mission Impossible. Now, the next thing that makes a film like this great is the supporting cast. So we've got some of the series regulars like Ving Rhames and Simon Pegg back. We've also got Rebecca Ferguson and Michelle Monaghan. Now, honestly, I think those two ladies could be twinsies. But one of the things that I love uh, about their characters is that they're not just there to, you know, fill up a role. They have a huge presence in this movie, especially uh, Rebecca Ferguson. And it was just fantastic to see. Now, something else is you want to bring in new faces. So we're bringing in new faces like Henry Cavill, as well as um, Angela Bassett. And then we've also got Alec Baldwin and many, many more. So... You've got a great cast, you've got, a, you've got a decent plot, you've got great action sequences. This is a film that runs just under two and a half hours. And one of the biggest compliments I can give to this film is it didn't feel like two and a half hours. I've seen 90 minute, 90 minute movies that felt like three hours. This felt like, wait, are we done? Can we not go, can we not have like some more please? Because I was enjoying this film so much. One of the things that I love about seeing, seeing uh, movies is audience reaction whether it's good whether it's bad just seeing some sort of emotion evoke from an audience and i thought it was great with during uh during the film we had you know people clapping and getting excited and being really involved in this film people were able to just completely tune out whatever was going on in their lives and just absorb this beautiful film um you kind of check your watch and you realize hey we're at the midpoint of the summer and guess what the movie of the summer has just arrived Mission Impossible Fallout is fantastic. It is exciting, it is exhilarating. It was one of those films that I went to and I saw in 2D, I wanna go back and see it again in, in, in IMAX. I thought that uh, Christopher McQuarrie, the director, did such a fantastic job with this film. And the reason that it takes a couple years to, to get these out is these these aren't a movie, this isn't a movie that you can shoot in like 20 days. Like there's a lot that goes into it. I love the way this movie was shot. I really like the cinematography. I like the action sequences. I like the, the, the comedy that was sprinkled into it. Fantastic, fantastic film. Lo really enjoyed it from top to bottom. And I give this movie an A. If you get a chance to see Mission Impossible Fallout, I would love to know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.